Okay, after a long day's work, it's time to solve some puzzles, Ugh, which is exactly what my brain needs. Anyways, now that we have the whip, we can now proceed through making it through the dungeon. We don't need to go in there right now. Our goal is to just wander around for a bit. Also, we can kill enemies with the whip. Um, well, we can kill, like, keys and stuff. Killing two jellies is not really possible with the whip, but... Goodness, these things just appear, huh? They just appear whenever they want. Alright, we'll go up here, and then... These things here... Are whippable. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Well, there we go. And that's how it works. Enemy? Nope, just treasure chest. Surprising. Dungeon map, please? Can't ask me anything else. There we go, dungeon map. And with that, also the compass feature. Meaning that treasure chests are now shown. We have two floors. The first floor and the basement first floor. Or basement one, whatever you want to call it. So we have... Ooh, there's a sacred flame. We have a treasure here. And then we got one over here. Um, and then just one down here. So three treasures left. Interesting. And of course there's one right there. I believe we could make it over there, but we'd have to drop down from that door because, well, we might not have to. It's weird. Uh, again, I don't really remember this place very well, but... Huh. Okay. Huh. Uh, hi. Target locked Phoenix. Oh, like a phoenix! These, the, this spirit is said to survive by eating flames. Due to its cautious nature, it can be difficult to approach. However, by catching and holding the bird's attention, some are able to successfully attack it. I suggest being wary of its curled tail. Okay. Come here. There we go. What do you drop? Absolutely nothing. That's great. I love that. Okay, so while we can make it over here, there's not much reason to right now. So, we need to take another look around and see what we can find down here. What is over here? Uh, oops. Oh. Oh, that was a mistake. Swim up, Link. There we go. Okay, grab onto that. And we need to flip this around. There we go. Alright, and now we can pull the switch. Or the lever. Whatever. And that closes off the water supply. Now, where is that? Where is a fish's mouth? Is it... Oh! It's right there. Okay, so that gives another swinging point. But from where? Where's a swinging point? Uh, I don't know what to do with this. So let's just get rid of it, I guess. Um... Uh, hmm. Let's see. Can't get over there. Um, hmm. Wait, can we... What's, what's here? Where does this lead? Have I been here? No, I have not. So here we go. Uh, spider. Ew, get off me! Alright. Get rid of you. I don't know why my sword didn't react. Oh! Right, 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 right. So remember how the gust bellows? Uh, we can blow sand and stuff through, uh... Um... Uh... uh, uh jars. Not jars. <laughs> bars! Through barred windows or barred doorways. The same thing is applicable with the whip. 
you gotta be sure you whip it good. Okay. Where is we? Uh, we're all the way over here. Just so really, we're just trying to get over there. Uh, bless butterflies. <laughs> Don't mind the chew jelly just coming after me. There we go. This is how you take care of two jellies. You just keep swiping down. Goodness. That was obnoxious. Okay. We want more money. There we go. Uh, you know what? Sure, that should be good enough. Nope, it was horrible. So, when it doesn't know what you're trying to draw, it'll just spawn three hearts, which... I mean... I'm trying to think. I do want to eventually do a master... Or not master mode. A uh, hero mode run of this game. But I'm trying to figure out if using those would... No, it would be... It'd be fine. It's not like I'm using an extra item, it's a mechanic that's already in the game that doesn't require any other extra items. Like, it's what I, it's the bottle rule for me. Like, I can bottle, like, fairies or potions because they themselves are not extra items. They're add-ons. So, it's perfectly legal, I think. What do you have on you? Nothing? Cool. Wow. Well, you just die in one shot, don't you? All right. Come on. Grab on with me. Okay, I guess I have to lock on first. Anyways, so yeah, I guess if I ever do a uh, hero mode run, I could just use those, uh, the wall things to restore my health quickly or get even a fairy, which would probably go a long way in keeping me alive, if I had to guess. Because I could spawn fairies if I learned how to draw the Triforce correctly. Like, with uh, the right stick, of course. Okay, rolling. Now, where does this go? Over there. Okay. And let go here. And, oh, this is just a place to catch our breath. Okay. Not really required to be here. No, don't fire at me. Only, only losers. Wow. Speaking of only losers, that me. Okay. Well, it looks like... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna try climbing around that one more time. And if that doesn't work, I will figure something out. Ha! You... Idiot! You thought that'd work. Ooh, Golden Skull. Nice! It's a semi-rare drop. I say semi-rare only because I have four of them and I've already used... Like... Four? Maybe five already? That's like nine total. I think I'm in there. I'm just... I'm thinking of that off the top of my head. I don't actually know how many I've used. Yeah, new slingshot power up. Wait, 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 wait. Waste time to get one rupee. That's how we do. Um. Wait, hold up. We have to. There we go. And pull that. There we go. Doors open. And now we can swing across the other side. Also, I just want to point out that the new goddess shield, really shiny. Like, look at how, like, the light reflects off of it. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, so pretty. All right. And whip across. Okay. There we go. More jelly blobs. And we can... Whip this, and that does what for us? That sucks in all the water from the center. Okay. So I guess... Oh. 
Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, we're going to kind of... It's not really a place of no return, but... Uh, there are two sides to this temple. The beautiful top half and the horrid bottom half. An underworld, if you will. But uh, you'll see that here in just a second. I need to... Oh, hey, that worked. All right. Now, let's cut down these spiders here. Huh. All right. Well, that raised that up. And take care of you. Blink. Okay. Now, they have all been turned upside down, and we can swim through here. Now, the same thing, you know, like how we grabbed onto a latch with our whip through bars, will work with this key. So we're gonna grab it from him. And there we go, we have a small key, <laughs> just like that. Now we're gonna go through the door and say hi to him with our sword to his face, preferably. Or should we spare? Oh yeah, here we go. We get a, a view of this interesting location. And look, it's a treasure chest, all by its lonesome. Totally not ominous or anything. Did you really just try firing at me from that distance? No. Okay. Also, I just want to point out, if you pay attention, uh, there's either no music right now, or it's, like, muted. Like, by muted, I mean it's just, like, really quiet. And kind of ominous. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's the boss key. And we need to get to it. So, let's do so by going through the pipes Mario style. But, hey! We're in the top half again! It's all nice and beautiful. Uh, it's good looking. Not scary. Alright. Where are we? Okay, so that'll bring us out and around here to this treasure chest. Okay. So... How we want to do this? Well, first, let's take care of that Walchula. Oh wow, I completely missed. Let's try that one more time. I think they run... Okay, no, no, I was gonna say, I think they run as soon as like the beetle gets near, but they don't. Okay, so we're gonna need to climb on this lily pad here. And we can open this doorway, which is another way to get back to the main area. Very nice. Okay, and we're back out here again. Now, with that information, what does that do for us? Uh, it doesn't look like too much. It's just a way to backtrack, really. Okay. So, we have a valve there. Let's take a look around the area. Honestly, this is why I love the... Like, the beetle is very, very useful for recon, for doing slight damage, picking up items... Uh, killing certain enemies. It, it kind of does everything, and that's why I love it so much. Okay, so we learned that through this doorway, and we're going to go and get rid of this. Through this doorway. Oh, there's water. Okay, so that kind of tells me all I need to know. So let's search down here and see what we can find. Okay, nothing here. And yes, I might have forgotten where uh, where I sent the beetle originally. Okay, so we can't swim to that area. That's interesting. Whoa, Link. Whoa, Link, whoa, Link, whoa, Link. Too much. Too much. And... Oh, 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 I'm stupid. Well, I'm not stupid. I'm just blind. I'm not paying attention. Not paying enough attention. Here's the thing, though. Can the whip... Well, can we get on this? No. 
We need to... Yes, we can do it. Just barely. No, <laughs> it's blocking. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, well, how about this? Get No, that's too far away. How do we get? Honestly, if I had the other... Hmm. Okay. So then... I need to... Let, let's just swim around here, yeah? See what we can find. Okay, so this is where we got dumped out from. And the doorway there... I know I'm missing something. I mean, obviously I'm missing something. I'm not using the full extent of my br Oh! Yeah, I'm not using the full extent of my brain. I... There's a very... That's the obvious mechanic we've been using the entire time to get onto higher places from swimming. Yeah, I could have done this a while ago. There we go. That solves part of our problem. Using our brain, could you imagine? That solves a lot of problems, as it turns out. It's amazing, really. Okay. Hop on this lily pad and hop up. So we're taking care of the enemies. We don't want to be stopped by anything. Except this quad baba, or quad baba, whatever it's called. Quadro baba. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I know how to take care of this. There we go. And a jelly blob. Okay, here's a good question. How do we get over there? Wait, 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 wait. I feel like I missed something. Okay, this leads up, but where does it lead to? Oh. Right. Down. Oh, it leads to a red rupee as well. How convenient. How nice of it. To hand us a red rupee. down. Where'd the rupee go? There it is. Got it. Okay. And we need to swim around these things, otherwise we're going to take more damage than we need to, which the need is always zero. So... <laughs> I kind of had to there, but they also provide air bubbles. How nice of them. There we go. And now we're on the other side. Just like that. How neat. And Valve. The uh, creators of critically acclaimed games such as Portal and Portal 2. Alright. And that raises that up. Which now we can create a platform if we uh, do things correctly. Imagine doing things the right way. Um, right, 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 right. Use my brain. Come on. There we go. And then up around. Climb. Now I'll have to rotate that lily pad. Or uh, turn it over, I should say. There we go. Mid-platform, and we can go up. Anything? No? Ooh, heart! And... I believe... There we go. Pull that. Perfect. Leads out to the main area. Very nice. Okay, now... We can get... The second chest. Yes. Right there. So first, we'll need to take care of the Furnix. Well, okay, it's not gonna bother. Um, hmm. Okay, let's take out the Walchulas. There we go. Ugh, looking around is tough. Okay, let's head to the treasure chest over there. And I'm gonna guess red rupee. Yep, red rupee. Okay, and then we gotta head over there to that switch. So let's get our 
whip ready. All right, climb up and over. Uh, hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right. Easy. Easy. I get it. I get it. I got it. What a simple thing. Whew. Barely caught that. Oh, okay. We can just let go. All right. Nice. Man, we're making good progress here. Good progress. Heart. Need. Need heart. And pull the valve. What does that do? Okay. Platform. We can get up here anytime we need to. I don't know how useful it's actually going to be because we've got all the treasures and everything, but hey. I'm sure it has some use. Alright, and pull this giant switch. Oh. Right. We can descend. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, well... We have only one option. We have to head to the underworld. So yeah, that's gonna be cool. Can't wait for that. Which I might end up capping off the episode about as soon as we go down. Because I'll leave about 20 or 30 more minutes to, to the temple, if I'm not mistaken, because I say that. I say that. Because we have one treasure, and it's going to take a while to get to one treasure. This is like an entire gauntlet we have to run. A lot of moving platforms. They have to run up and go fight the boss and get the Sacred Flame. That's a cutscene, so I'm going to guess it's like 30 or 40 minutes. So, we're going to go ahead and just jump down. Okay. And just like that, we're down here. Now, doorway. This is where the cool stuff starts really happening. Okay. <laughs> and with that, we're going to end the episode here. And we'll pick up, hopefully finishing off, uh, the Ancient Cistern. So I'll catch y'all in the next one.